Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we were on our way to Dry Dry Outpost. We just came back from an episode break? We should probably get going, isn't that right Goombario? Just putting one foot in front of another is hard here. Whenever I take a break, I feel like I don't want to move again. Immediately moves. By the way, who's you? Hello, fellow travelers. I'm in the middle of a journey, just as you appear to be. Other travelers I meet are like brothers and sisters to me. If a town is what you seek, follow this path to the east. A desert town called Dry Dry Outpost waits at the path's end. He didn't say the, I don't care. Moving on. Eventually... Pretty soon, in fact, I'm going to be exploring this here desert. Like I said, it's a pretty big place full of enemies. I'm not going to explore the entire thing, but there are going to be parts that I do want to check out. For now, though, we're just making our way into town, which is right on the other side of this map. And we found a letter. Not going to be able to deliver that for a while. Welcome, Dry Dry Outpost. Here we are. It's Dry Dry Outpost. Lots of dryites and nomadomites live here. I'm so happy to find civilization after crossing that desert. Despite the climate, lots of travelers seem to come here. Still, they can't get that many tourists. It's too hot. Welcome, travelers. You must have had a long, hot journey getting here. Welcome to Dry Dry Outpost. Mastafa is the leader of this entire town, so you'd better keep it in mind. Although you probably won't ever see him. Oh, really? Well, if we're never going to see him, guess we don't need to keep it in mind. So this guy is a nomad and mouse who lives in this town. He seems to pay special attention to strangers like us. He belongs to some kind of shady organization. The organization rules Dry Dry Outpost. So mysterious and dangerous, I can feel my skin crawling. Mario, isn't this exciting? Eh, it's not as exciting as you're making it out to be. Taking a drink. Oh, this guy is trying to get my attention. That's a Dryite. The wind out here in the desert is full of stinging sand, so he protects himself by wrapping his face in a cloth. Since their faces are covered, it's tough to tell them apart. I'm pretty sure they're all adults, though. It's probably a safe assumption. This guy right here I'm not gonna talk to, but he's worth pointing out because he gives you various hints of secrets that you can find in the desert. Say, is that a first degree card? <laughs> it just so happens that I have in my possession a second degree card. Know what that means? I'm stronger than Mario. Yeah! For now, anyway. As soon as we're done with Chapter 2, I'm heading back to the dojo and get my second degree card. So by the way, this town is full of rats. Uh, ignoring you, I think. Yeah, ignoring him. Talking to this guy, though. Are you from Toad Town? Wow, that's a ways away. Dry Dry Ruins? Nope, never heard of it. It sounds like a local fairy tale or something. Hey, if you're serious about looking for Dry Dry whatever, you should go and ask the information trader. Supposedly, this information trader lives in, a t lives in town and swaps information for items. Or something along those lines. That's what my friend says. My friend? This guy? Nah, he's way too shy to be an information trader. Got 
Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come come here. Come. <sighs> My friend is the shyest guy. He can't talk to strangers at all. He just clams up. That's why I usually talk for him, you see. What's that, buddy? You want to see the princess? Whoa-ho! That's a toughie! For that wish to be granted, I think you'd better wish the stars, buddy. Hey, you travelers! Am I right, or am I right? I don't know, I don't think it would be terribly difficult to do, actually. Hmm? Are you addressing me? A composer am I, writing songs while I try. Sigh. I wish I could find some lovely, heart-moving lyrics. I want to compose music filled with beautiful lyrics. It's my fondest wish. Forgot to tell you. Dry eyes look like the heat doesn't even bother them. I wonder why. I'm boiling. And they're all wrapped in, up in clothes. What gives? Maybe it's because their clothes are wrapped loosely. I could use some threads like that. Kind of think of it. I probably would not enjoy it out here. If I were ever to go to a desert, I'd probably need to shave my fur. Not something I would necessarily want to do. Alright, let me look at my notes again. Delete some stuff. My notes are huge. Long ago, in this very land, there was a kingdom called Dry Dry Kingdom. King Malsta ruled over it. One dark day, he was betrayed by his subjects. In the uprising that followed, Dry Dry Kingdom was ruined. King Malsta escaped and vowed vengeance on his enemies. He gathered those faithful to him and defeated his betrayers. King Malsta's supporters were the original robbers who built Dry Dry Outpost. Neat. Hey, hello. I'm assisting an archaeologist, Professor Colorado. I came to Dry Dry Desert to ex excavate Dry Dry Ruins, but... It's hot as blazes every day and I'm constantly thirsty. I want to quit and go home. I don't blame you, dude. I was sent here because we heard that there's an important clue about the ruins, but... I can't find the information trader anywhere. It's vital that I find him so I can get the clue. I don't want to think about how mad the professor will be if I go back with nothing. What am I gonna do? Nah. How's my health? I don't need to heal. I heard that an archaeologist named Colorado is around here looking for dry, dry ruins. You know what? Even if he digs up the entire desert, he won't find them. Did I want to tell you? Yes, that's a dryite. It's hard to tell whether he's old or young because of that cloth that's wrapped around his face. What do you think? Young or old? I'm betting young. That's a good question, but I kind of already answered it earlier. Are all these guys? Adults. Now, whether they're young adults or old adults is another question. Maybe the color of their garbs indicates their age. Maybe, like, you're youngest... ...and you're older. Dry Dry Outpost was built by robbers long ago, you know? The boss of the robbers was the descendant of a king. The king hid the entrance to the ruins of his kingdom, and the robber boss guarded them. Legend has it that even now, the descendant of that boss hides in this town and keeps the ruins safe from prying eyes. Ooh, how mysterious. Keep this quiet. If this woman casts a spell on you, it might help you during battle. 
For instance, your attack power might get stronger, or you might get more coins for winning. Other, stranger things may happen as well. But do not rely on this spell. By no means will it take effect in every battle. The spell can be beneficial, but it's also unpredictable. Yeah, but it's definitely awesome. She's a wizard, Merle. She casts spells. If you let her cast a spell on you, it may affect you in battle. She's one of a pair of twins. The other one is Merlevely from Shitting Star Summit. When I look at a woman as beautiful as this, it makes me feel all strange. So, toes don't do it for you, but shadowy cloaked figures do, apparently. Hello, welcome. How are you? Feeling jolly? Feeling blue? I'm Merle, you see? That's me! A cuter gal you'll never see. I do magic, but not for free. Your luck has steered you well, for I'm a master of the spell. When my spell upon you glows, you might get lucky, but who knows? Do you dare to take a chance? Want to watch my cars dance? Yes. Also, I love your rhymes. Oh, how lovely. Very good. Pick just one now, if you would. I'd pay as much as I could. I know it seems expensive to pay 50 coins, but she's right. Pay as much as you can. Well, we're ready. Tally-ho! And here we go! I think you'll find this power might get your foes to cower. It will light your darkest hour. Even should you meet a beast, do not fear, not in the least. My spell makes a famine feast. See ya then. Please come again. Goodbye, my friend. So, the more you pay, the longer this spell lasts. And paying as much as I did, I'm not going to have to recharge this for a while. He runs the shop here in Dry Dry Outpost. I don't know, he acts kind of strange. Is he nervous? Well, he may be suspicious, but he still runs the shop. His stock seems to be made up of pretty normal stuff. I think it's normal. I don't know, there's some pretty crappy stuff here. Dusty Hammer. Don't think that causes very much damage. Dried Shroom heals 1 HP. A spaghetti is kind of weak, a dr dried pasta that is, but it's actually useful for some, um, for some recipes. What's my inventory looking like again? Hmm, yeah, let's, um, I need to make a little bit of room, so I'm gonna throw a couple things into storage. So I got six, seven, eight. I need to store a few things. So, what do I want to store? That's a tough choice. I'll keep the mushroom on hand. Keep that, I want it. And suppose I can store the egg. Yeah, I'll store the egg for now. So that's one. Store the super soda. That's two. Uh, did I really want to store that though? Maybe not. No, on second thought. Give that back to me after I store one other thing. Yeah, I'll store that thing, and then I'll take back that. So 
sleepy sheep. I have another Thunder Rage? Wait, no. I failed options. I failed options. Give me that back. I meant to switch over the, to the part where I claim items. I was still checking them. So give me this back. And that should do it. And now I'm going to go ahead and buy five dried shrooms. Alright, moving on. Uh, before I move on this way, though... Nope. Every so often, Chuck Quizma will appear over in this corner. It's worth checking for him. Oh, there he is! Quiz! I'm not gonna read that because it's the same message every time. Question! What color of pants was the Goomba King wearing? Red and white. Correct. So, we get another star piece. I'm pretty sure that if you get a question wrong, he'll eventually roll back to it. Either that or we'll just repeat it consistently until you eventually do get it. Alright, this guy. Someone who gives things is nice. Yes, very nice. Nice guys get told nice stuff. Here, have a dried shroom. Ah, you give me something. You might be nice. If you're a very nice guy, you'll give me something more. Here you go. And... same message, one more. And before anybody says anything, yes, I know that I could completely skip this, but I want to do it anyway. You give me many things. Very nice guy. Yes, very nice. My name is Sheik. I trade in information, things others do not know. So, nice guy, what would you like to know? Let's ask about the desert. Dry Dry Desert is a vast and everlasting sea of sand. Under the sea, many secrets lie buried. More secrets than there are stars in the sky. The legend of Dry Dry Ruins is one of these secrets. Only Mr. Mustafa knows where the legend rests. If you still seek knowledge, you must give me something more. Yes? You understand? Yep. Have another Dry Shroom. I thank you for giving things. To show I am truly thankful, Allow me to tell you, wow, that just completely covered up the message. Last line, anyway. That is a poorly placed message window there. Whatever, how to get to ruins. You must see Mr. Mustafa to find the resting place of dry, dry ruins. Mr. Mustafa is a descendant of the great robbers who built dry, dry outpost. He is somewhere in the town, yes. But exactly where, only his close followers know. I could tell his secret, but only to the nicest of nice guys, yes. If you still seek knowledge, you must give me something more, yes? You understand? Yes. Here's another one. Sean Trivia, allow me to tell you something. What would you like to know? Your favorite food. My favorite food starts with an L and ends with an N. It's a yellow fruit. So sour. Such a nice fragrance. Its tree grows only in the desert oasis outside town. If you were to go to the oasis and get one for me, I might believe you're a true nice guy. For, of course, only the nicest of nice guys can meet Mustafa. If you still seek knowledge, you must give me something more. Yes, you understand? Nah, that's enough. Well, goodbye. So, I didn't have to go through all of that at all. I could just go straight for getting the lemon right now. In fact, technically speaking, I don't even need the lemon. 
But by the way, that's what he's talking about. A lemon. He could have told us his favorite food directly, but he's trying to be mysterious. Basically, he doesn't want the friends to be made too easily. He wants friends who will go through the effort of figuring out what the heck he's talking about. Anyway... Going through my notes. And now's the point where I start traveling through dry, dry desert looking for all sorts of secrets. Again, I'm not going to explore the entire thing. I'm just going to go for the parts that I know stuff is hidden. Also, the reason that I was avoiding enemies earlier is because I knew it was only a matter of time before they started attacking me. It's inevitable. So, this is a bandit. Bandits bump into your heart or bump into you hard and shake up your pockets. They can steal up to 10 coins. 5 HP, 2 attack, no defense. They'll slowly approach and slam into you all of a sudden. If you can damage them in an attack, you can get your stolen coins back. Let's beat them before they can make off with our loot. Yeah, these guys are like super duper annoying to deal with. Uh, will this be strong enough? I'm not sure. I don't think it will. The reason I really wanted the Zap Tap badge is because, well, normally what you're supposed to do is block their attacks. If you block their attacks, then they can't steal from you. But if you fail to block their attacks, they steal money from you. Unless they get zapped by the bads. Anyway, this is a Pokey, an evil cactus. Pokies attack by throwing parts of their bodies or by coming up close and falling on you. 4 HP to attack. Be careful fighting them, it'll hurt if you jump on their spiky heads. They also have an annoying habit of calling in reinforcements. Let's beat them quickly. Please do not demonstrate bringing in reinforcements, thank you very much. So for these guys, Cooper is going to be definitely useful. Because you touch them from the top, you take damage. Touch them from the side, you take damage. Only way to avoid damage? Touch them with something that doesn't take damage. Nah. Got hit and missed the tree too. You know what? I don't really feel like dealing with you. I'm glad I realized that I accidentally put away the thunder thing. Or maybe not. I forget what I did wrong in the shop actually. In any case, I'm glad to have that. Okay, buddy, you're gonna have to kind of leave me alone. I wanna hit this tree. I wanna hit this tree and not miss. Which is especially implied by the way I was saying it. Hit the tree, as opposed to missing it. And there was nothing in the tree in the first place. Well, that totally figures. You know what? I feel like using another item. Alright. Rest of this fight should go swimmingly. I'm trying to think of a word. It is very something to whack these guys while they're asleep. It was that thing that Chan kept saying when we were fighting him. Or was it Lee? It's... How something. What was it? Darn. I just can't remember the word. It's 
not shameful. Something that is like... Kind of being cheating sort of thing. Oh, thank heavens! At last, we found an oasis! It's not a mirage, is it? The trees are so green, the water so blue! Hooray! Ah, crap, I just realized I didn't want to come this way from the start. Yes, Maddie Ratata, dishonorable. That is the word I was trying to say. Dishonorable. Uh, I meant to head north of the path first and then come down this direction. Bummer. Well, as long as I'm here, something I want to grab real quick, that would be this thing. So there's a super block. With this, you can upgrade one of your party members. The member you upgrade will gain attack power. The party member will also master a new ability. Which party member do you want to upgrade? So yeah, in case it hasn't been obvious, your party members do not level up with Mario. Instead, you gotta find these blocks to upgrade them. And there's a bunch of them, so try to find them all. I'm gonna start by upgrading Cooper, since after all, he's gonna be useful against a bunch of the enemies that I get tackled by. So, Cooper is upgraded to Super Rank. You can tell because you can tell because he's got a blue circle by his name now. And because he is upgraded, he has also learned a new attack. That would be Dizzy Shell. Daze and paralyze all enemies on the ground. It's kind of expensive, so I don't know how much I'll use it. But it might be a good idea to use it in a pinch. Anyway, with this taken care of, I'm going to go ahead and head into our third and final episode break of this stream. And when we come back, we've got quite the desert to be exploring. I also need to go back in the direction that I meant to be going from the start.